Is the Earth flat or is it a sphere? Well, according to the round earthers, when you're on the northern hemisphere and you look up at the sky, the stars appear to go counterclockwise. And when you're on the southern hemisphere, the stars appear to go clockwise. But it all depends on how you look at it. For example, when you look at a clock, sometimes it appears to go clockwise, and other times it appears to go counterclockwise. Well, try this at home. Look at a clock. Is it going counterclockwise or clockwise? It all depends on how you look at it. This is what the round earthers thinks the earth looks like. But it looks pretty flat to me. At the end of Isaiah 11 verse 12 it says, And gathered the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Four corners of the earth? That proves that the earth is a round disc. You can see way farther than you're supposed to see if there were curvature. The round earthers say that the atmosphere bends the light, but the atmosphere cannot bend the light. That's not how light works, you need a lens. Now it is time for Q&A. The first commenter asks, why does the bottom of ships disappear first if it's not curvature? Well, the answer to that question is, the atmosphere bends the light up so you can't see the bottom of the ship. Wait, if it rains on a spinning globe, then all the water will fly off of it. That means all the rivers, all the lakes, all of the oceans, the airplanes in the air, you, everything will fly off of it. Now unless there was some weird force drawing everything towards the middle of the sphere, everything would fly off of it. The sun shines on about half of the earth at a time, which makes this shape that kind of looks like a beam. And if you get this picture of a sun and you reverse its colors, it looks like a beam. Round earthers say that tides are created from moon's gravity, but the moon doesn't have gravity because We know the sun is only 3,000 miles away because it gets smaller the further away it gets from us. I'll show that by measuring it now. As you can see, it is a lot smaller now. Older it was this big, now it's only this big. And if you think they went to the moon, you'd be wrong. Because here's a video of Neil Armstrong saying that they never went to the moon. We never went to the moon. The Earth is flat. The last reason, and my favorite, number 10 is that... That's all 10 reasons why the Earth is flat. Please subscribe.